Hi, my name is Dr. Kathy Sampsonello. I teach in the School of Pharmacy at SIUE. I got my bachelor's at Eastern Illinois University and I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. So I became a microbiologist, did that for a few years, it just wasn't me. So I decided to go on and get my master's. And so I got my master's at Stephen F. Austin State University. And that's where I really got the teaching bug. I wasn't able to get a teaching job though right away. And so I worked in cancer research for a few years, which was very rewarding, but I still in the back of my mind wanted to teach. So I figured I had to get a PhD got my PhD at St. Louis University, um, worked at a pharmaceutical company for a while, still was looking for a teaching job, and then I was very lucky in that I got a teaching job 21 years ago at SIUE. I started in 1993. Um, my daughter was nine months old. It was pretty tough coming back to school, or excuse me, coming back to work um, with a, a, a kid so young. Um, so I, I, I have to admit I struggled at first, but I'm glad I stuck with it. it. It's been a very rewarding career here. And then the School of Pharmacy? Started in, ooh, 2005. Um, was one of the first faculty members hired. Uh, Dean Meaden um, made me an offer I couldn't refuse, and I have never looked back. I taught in the biology department for a while, but being in the School of Pharmacy is just so much more fun. Students are fantastic. And so this is where I'll retire, folks. My current area of research is actually what I've been doing for probably about a decade, and that is pedagogical research. So I have a lot of uh, publications dealing with case study teaching, the assessment of teaching, um, anything doing, dealing with teaching and learning. It's one of the exciting things about the research I've been doing is that a lot of my collaborators have been students, and, and uh, students tend to energize me. Um, they um, are very good co-authors. And uh, so, that, so that's been very neat. I think the impact of pedagogical research is that people, particularly in the sciences, have read a lot of the, my publications and I've gotten very good feedback from my publications. I think it encourages other faculty to think about their approach to teaching and think about student learning outcomes. And it also has had an impact on me because it has encouraged me to um, experiment in the classroom and do more things that allow students to become interactive in the classroom and to learn outside the classroom. Uh, so I think for the end of my career I'm going to switch my focus to tropi tropical disease research. Uh, we will probably do work in dengue and rickettsial diseases. Um, so that's um, right now my transition and I'm pretty excited about it. In terms of Switching my focus to tropical diseases, uh, I started my research years ago, or, or my doctoral dissertation was in Lyme disease, and it made a huge impact in the St. Louis area in that I found the vector uh, and the a particular bacterium, the spirochete, that caused Lyme disease in this area. Part of the reason I'd like to focus on tropical diseases is because there, we're starting to see that there is an impact in the United States, particularly Texas, you know, Southern Cal California, etc. And there is a great possibility that they can, you know, start, you know, coming even farther north and might hit Illinois someday. I chose academia because, this may sound silly, but it kind of makes me feel young. Um, I love being around students. Students just energize me, as I said before. And, um, you know, what a better job. Every day is different. I sometimes do service work all day, but then the next day I can focus on teaching and I can uh, update my lectures and I can read about stuff that just excites the heck out of me. Um, you know, the next day I might be collaborating with some of my wonderful colleagues here on a research project. So there is no job in this world that allows greater variety um, than, than being at a university. I, I'm, I'm quite sure of that. My teaching philosophy, I think like a lot of people, is based on the do's and don'ts of professors that I had. You know, I had some professors, and I think we've all had those that just did not inspire me. The people that inspired me were, were ones who really got me vo motivated to come to class um, used a little bit of humor, learned my name, tried different you know pedagogies, and so you know I, I really feel that it's very important to learn students' names and to you know encourage them to interact in the classroom because research shows that if you are involved and engaged um, in teaching, 
the teaching and learning that's happening in the classroom that you're going to learn easier. In terms of potential students, future students, you know, make sure this is what you want. Um, shadow as much as possible, get a job as a farm tech, you know, etc. Try to get into a hospital, try to, even if you can, get into an industrial position in pharmacy to find out if this is really your career. I think that most students that graduate, I would guess 90% of the students that graduate are happy they did, they're happy with their career choice, they're happy with the salary, they're happy with the flexibility. But I do talk to some students that say this isn't what I realized it was going to be um, in terms of students here in the school right now if I haven't had you as a student yet be prepared to speak up in class because I don't want to be the talking head in front of the classroom I want you to communicate uh, with all of us in the classroom so don't be afraid to speak up there's never ever uh, been a dumb question asked in class you know so get over that in terms of students who have already graduated you know, it's, I'm going to sound like a sappy parent here, but I'm very proud of you. I look at your Facebook postings. I hear from so many of you. I come to your weddings and I, and I you know, baby showers, etc. And, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm proud of all of you. I know that this was a tough curriculum. I know that uh, there were times, so many times that you had sleepless nights, but I hope it's all been worth it. And I have a feeling that you have real, a really good um feeling about SIUE and your education here. So that makes me proud.